Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It's a very, very festive, fun holiday look. I was actually about to do like a trial run for Christmas Eve. I had a look in mind, I had this look in mind, but I wanted to try it out before the 24th to see if I liked it or not. And it turns out I really, really love how this look turned out. I was honestly completely winging it right now. I was really just going with the flow and hoping that it would turn out the way I saw it in my head. And it kind of did. I actually love Love how this look turned out. I think it is perfect for Christmas Eve or if you don't celebrate Christmas just for holiday parties an office party This is perfect and the best part is that it's extremely easy to do I wanted to do a holiday look that was gonna be extremely easy to recreate and honestly This is about as easy as it gets no liquid liner no falsies You know my kind of look and I know there's been so many tutorials up on my channel recently it's kind of strange, I, I never upload this many tutorials like all together. I am so sorry if that's beginning to annoy you. It's just with the holidays rolling around, I mean there's just so many looks to do. I actually really want to do a New Year's Eve look as well. It's just that time of year, you know, I'm just, I'm just feeling the makeup. I hope this video inspires you and I hope if you're struggling to do your makeup, this video is easy to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get this fun green and red makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I always prime my eyelids with concealer just so that it can cover up all my veins and get it ready for some eyeshadow. So I did that with the Tarte Shape Tape and then I just applied any face powder. This is just the face powder that was in front of me and I just set down the concealer so it's not sticky. I'm gonna take my Dream Street palette, but I'm only using um, two shades in the palette. I'm gonna take Mooney, the highlight shade. I don't know why I didn't show it, but I'm using that to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm gonna take Shooting Star and I'm gonna start applying this really close to my lashes. I'm pretty much applying this on my entire lid, but I'm focusing it mainly close to my lashes. All the shadows that we're gonna put down, I'm focusing them a little bit closer to the lash line versus the crease. And that's gonna create kind of like a gradient smoky effect. Now I'm gonna take the Anastasia Single Eyeshadow in the shade Cognac, and I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing, only with Shooting Star, I pretty much took it up on the entire lid. With Cognac, I'm focusing it a little bit closer to my lash line than I did with the other color, but still blending them together. You'll, I mean, you see what I'm doing, but you know. Just gonna do that over and over, slowly building up this color. I'm also dragging the eyeshadow towards the outer corners of my eyes, extending the shadow a bit, just so it looks like, you know, my eyes are a little bit more almond shape instead of round. And then I went in with the Makeup Geek Single Shadow in Dirty Martini, and I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm just focusing this really, really, really close to the lashes. I'm not really bringing this color up at all. And then I went in with a more glittery, like intense metallic green shade. This is a single shadow from Anastasia. It's called Peacock. And I'm just creating an eyeliner effect with this eyeshadow, as you can see. So that there are no harsh lines and everything is nice and blended into one another, I'm gonna go back into Cognac and I'm just gonna blend the green and the Cognac color together a little bit more. I really want it to be like a gradient. I want it to fade and I want it to look nice and blended. So there's a lot of blending in this look, but it's super easy. And then I went back into Peacock to just intensify the green some more. Cleaning up underneath the eyes, I'm gonna move on to my face before I finish up the eyes, you know, as usual. And to prime the skin, I'm gonna take the new Wet n Wild Dewy Primer and I'm just going to apply this to my entire face. It gives you a nice, soft, luminous glow to the skin. For foundation, this is also a new product I just recently hauled. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I'm using two shades, LW2 and LN4, I believe. I will have them down below. But I don't. the color combination was just a little bit too light for me. I wanted it just a hair deeper, so I do eventually go in and mix in a different foundation. But I just wanna show you what it looks like on my skin. Just one layer of this foundation. It's very natural. Perfect for every day, but since this is a holiday look, I did want to add another layer and just add more coverage. So I went in with the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation just to even out the color a bit and to add more coverage as well. For concealer, I mean, is this a surprise to you? I'm using the usual, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love it, I cannot stop. And I'm just applying that underneath the eyes to get rid of my dark circles to mask mask those babies and I'm also gonna be using this concealer to highlight the rest of my face but like very softly I just added a little bit to the center of my face 
Going in with powder, I'm gonna take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just gonna set down the concealer. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm going back into Shooting Star and I'm gonna apply this underneath my lower lash line with a pencil brush all over the place. We're gonna do the same thing we did on the lid. I'm going into Cognac on a smaller pencil brush, a more precise one, and doing the same thing, and then grabbing Peacock and doing the same thing. Only I'm adding very little of the Peacock shade because I don't want my lower lash line to look too green and too grungy. So I just applied a little bit of the green shade and then I went back into Cognac to blend everything out. To highlight my inner corners, I'm gonna take Mooney, of course, from my Dream Street palette, pop that on the inner corners. And then for mascara, I'm going in with the, what is this, what is this? Oh, the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, and it is amazing. And that completes the eyes, so easy. Back to the face, I'm going to bronze the skin with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This one is the shade Bronzer. <laughs> I am mainly using this color and this shade to like sculpt out the face and to contour, but then I'm gonna go in with a different butter bronzer. This is brand new from Physicians Formula. This one is the Sun Kissed Butter Bronzer, and I'm just applying that to add a little bit of warmth to the skin. For blush, are you surprised? This is the Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush. I'm obsessed with this, I can't get enough of it. I cannot stop using it, it's like my go-to and I'm just popping that on the cheeks. And for highlight, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold highlight. I wanted a strong golden highlight that wasn't too dark for me, so this is perfect. And then of course, the star of the show, I think. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Havana Nights Liquid Lipstick. I love this liquid lipstick, obviously, of course. And I think this is the perfect holiday red that's a little bit deeper than your typical red. It's so pretty. And it really does just complete the look. This is like the perfect finishing touch. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm warded and my grace is gone. Oh. I was hoping that I would seem like just another desperate human that the... Uh. All right, Casper. Where you at?